Hello and welcome to my channel. Attention! Before getting started, make sure you disconnect the floodlight from the source. This is the LED that is powered by 30 to 34 volts by the driver below. And this is the LED with driver included, also called COB chip LED, because it has an intelligent circuit control and does not require a driver. Because we do not need the driver anymore, we get him off the board. It is attached to the floodlight case by silicone, and we use a screwdriver to detach it. You can observe silicone. Most of the floodlight are silicone bonded and the driver heats up and cannot dissipation the heat to the housing. And this overheating at some point will destroy the driver. That's why most floodlight are damaged. Do not forget like and subscribe. As you can see between the lead and the casing is a lot of thermal paste to make a better thermal transfer. Attention! When connecting the wires to the LED observe the polarity phase to L and L to N because this LED must be properly connected to 220 volts and the green yellow ground wire to make sure it is securely attached to the case. On the new LED we put the thermal paste to make the heat transfer better. I put a little insulating tape over the connectors because there is a high voltage and I don't want to touch it by mistake. And the green yellow ground wire to make sure it is securely attached to the case. Now we will put all pieces in their place and we will make a test to see if it will work.
Thank you for watching and don't forget like and subscribe.